hello global ladies and friends now you might have come across these images on your screens as part of a hair advertising campaign by Tresemme, a hair care brand owned by british dutch owned fast moving consumer goods company Unilever, which is headquartered in the UK and Amsterdam. Now the ad clearly depicts African hair as dull, dry and damaged and uh, Caucasian hair as normal upon analysis. And um, I am with Miss Universe Zosbini Tunzi on this one. As you can see from her comments on the screen, she is absolutely spot on. Her tweet speaks to the tone deaf nature of the advert due to a lack of diversity in this European um, owned company trading in South Africa, where she of course hails from. And it is a majority African population. So, so it is clearly evidence of a lack of transformation within the organization and a government, of course, that allows them to continue to trade despite the lack of diversity. I mean, South Africa has got serious issues. Uh, I mean, it's been documented through the years that they have fantastic laws, but absolutely zero follow through. And I feel that a lot of these multinationals who benefited under the oppressive dispensation and continue to benefit under democracy or, or the new South Africa with just a slap on the wrist. I mean, lawyers of London, um, for example, who benefited from slavery is another example. Was worse so for 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 the mineral sector. Um, I mean, the absolute hor horror stories coming out of the mining sector in that country uh, are hair raising, um, but this is a separate discussion um, in my Adele video the cultural appropriation video I explain the backstory around hair politics um, since the saga refuses to go away and you can watch the short video for in order to better understand um, some of the nuance um, around this debate um, but in in this particular instance, it appears that protesters are vandalizing uh, 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 the property of a leading retailer of the product at play. Um, this is, of course, spearheaded by um, political party, uh, the economic freedom fighters in South Africa. And um, it appears that the Human Rights Commission has also requested a stakeholder meeting to address the issue. Meanwhile, it is business as usual for Tresemme and it is business as usual for the retailers. I will keep you posted on this one. For tailored strategies for a fulfilled affluent you beyond the 21st century, sign up for the full Negrita 2.0 program. Bye for now.